Hello dear ones. It's Alice. I'm of the stars. I was um, watching the movie Aladdin last night, which is um, um, a musical love story, right? And when I got to the part of the magic carpet ride with Aladdin and his the princess with whom he fell in love, um, I got a, a very great feeling of everything being okay, right? And uh, I was feeling that feeling in my own heart. I was feeling uh, that all was, that I was complete, that all was well, that, uh, that I was one, that feeling, uh, a feeling of exhilaration, a feeling of well-being. And so, just as I felt that, I heard a voice uh, outside of me, an uh, astral traveling person to, to the left of me saying that I had forgotten about him, right? I didn't recognize the voice, right? W what I was feeling was like a um, clear rendition of the notion that there's someone else that's needed in order for us to feel happy. In other words, that voice um, represented the notion of duality, right? Um, so um, I set that voice as with a neutral mind, as not as a person, but as a sound within my hologram, and I continued to feel that sense of completeness and unification and well-being. Then, as my aura expanded, uh, I became much more grounded. Uh, you're, you're going to say everybody should, I'll say everyone should be watching Aladdin, right? <laughs> well, if you like, um, if you lack a sense of completeness because you're going through this process without a um, significant other, then it, it might be something worth trying, at least the magic carpet ride. <laughs> but to continue, as I became... Um, uh, more grounded and more solar, solid in my lower chakras, my energy field expanded upward um, to the 12th chakra above my head, far above my head, right? And there, way up there, I found some people speaking in a very calm, clear, high voice. So quite a number of souls up there or one man representing quite a number of souls who said, uh, come up here with us, he said. He said, be sure and leave that um, VD thing alone. And by VD, what he meant was that syndrome about um, um, uh, the victim-aggressor paradigm and the rough feelings that are um, um, circulating around the lower triangle uh, of humankind these days, the first, second, and third chakras, these very rough feelings that have to do with the feral drives, right? However, it is these rough feelings that keep us well anchored on earth and which are becoming purified right now by the incoming light. So. So the notion that we can rise up there to the 12th chakra and be free of or purified of or uh, saved from the energies of the unconscious thought cloud of the world which flow through the lower triangle. Uh, the lower triangle being um, the tribal chakras which, which can't be individually um, purified without all of earth being pure too. The idea that we can escape from this by rising up to the twelfth chakra and staying there with a, a, like a group or tribe of people who are above it all, that's an unfortunate notion. A very unfortunate notion right now, a misconception. So um, what I think is happening is that Many of the light workers um, uh, feel more deeply than those who are not yet 
recognizing their light worker skills. They feel the roughness of that energy and they don't want to participate in the clearing process. Um, and I understand that, okay. But uh, I would say that if a person is in that position, it would be best not to imagine that people who are feeling and clearing those energies are lower than us. I think that's a, an impediment to our realization of the all and of free will once more on this planet. And, that, and I feel that our realization of those two concepts and uh, uh, co-creation of those two concepts will be the, um, the way of the future. The way of the future in many different nuances and tastes and forms, but in some form, each of them will be included in our co-creative ability for the future of Earth, new life on new Earth. Uh, further, I think, uh, just as a caveat or, or um, uh, just a very mild warning for those that are like up there, way up there. It's very important to pay attention to our own lower triangle at this time, okay? Or otherwise, the um, the turmoil of the clearing of the malware in those first three chakras, because of the state of like churning of the ethers there, the state of churning and clearing of the ethers there um, will embroil us in physical activities and in um, astral, vivid, astral, and in vivid astral daydreams or night dreams that embody this churning motion, this churning of the ethers. All right. So and so contribute not to the clearing, but rather to the to the churning. All right. So so most especially we don't want to act out on the physical plane uh, what we are not paying attention to with our soul's awareness. So so therefore we pay strict attention to the entire energy field that is our soul's energy field acting in this incarnation on Earth. Huh. So, something to consider, all right? And, and I wish you all Godspeed with your clearing process and, and happy times, complete times, unification of the entire soul field and all of the subtle bodies and the physical body. Yeah, as soon as possible. Uh, great peace of mind and great peace of, of all the bodies. <laughs> so, good morning, Godspeed. I'll speak another time.